This is the remarkable story of a last, desperate attempt by the Japanese Imperial forces were confirming that the North American continent was under attack. Supposedly the whole city of Denver saw it, but nobody knew what they were seeing. The balloon bomb attack against North America was a real threat. People didn't know what it was. A very strange device. It was actually happening. It was a matter of what is the magnitude that this is going to develop into. There was a clampdown of release of information. The media needed to be subdued. Papers did sit on the biggest stories that happened in their region. Do not talk about this. They did not want any news going back to the Japanese. A unique Japanese offensive weapon and of an unknown magnitude was lifting into the skies. It was quite a feat to make such a mechanical device. Understanding the complex jet streams would be the key to Japan's balloon bomb offensive. Many scientists, all the best scientists from all over Japan, contributed and dedicated their full support to it. They would drift silently and at incredible speeds across the vastness of the Pacific Ocean. It was, in fact, the world's first intercontinental ballistic missile. It had never been done before. These deadly invaders were only 80 hours away from their target, the North American continent. There is always the fear of the unknown. And certainly the balloon bombs were in that category. There's still some unanswered questions. The Japanese had an active program in using biological weapons. These were not rumors, they were stated facts. And so a veil of secrecy descended on each and every incident. The threat to the nation was more frightening than the military and government dared to reveal to the public. The Americans realized that they did have to increase resources. They needed to know more information. By the end of January 1945, there'd been a total of 27 balloon incidents. Biological warfare might become a reality. Japanese felt that their sacred homeland had been violated and that they felt honor bound to avenge it. The initial phase of this program called for 10,000 paper balloons. Schoolgirls from over 80 schools from all over the country were recruited for the task of making the balloons. They all worked without being forced to and in the belief they were serving their country in what they were told was a right and just war. It was a tremendous undertaking for the, the Japanese industry. During the six-month offensive on the North American continent, this truly remarkable journey was repeated over 9,000 times. The potential of the balloon bomb was quite severe when you stop to think of 10,000 of these weapons having been manufactured. I have a feeling there's 600 balloons out there in rugged terrain that are literally waiting to be discovered.